$600 million from the federal government and still thousands of North Carolina restaurant owners did not see a dime of that financial help. Thanks for being with us. I'm Russ Bowen. I'm Rod Carter. CBS 17 first told you about this program running out of cash earlier this month. New at 6, CBS 17's Lillian Donahue joins us live. And Lillian, those restaurants still looking for some help. Well, that's right. 6,600 restaurants across the state of North Carolina requested federal help to keep their doors open during the pandemic. But only 40% of those actually received any funds before the program ran out. Kim Hammer has poured everything she has into her dessert bar, Bittersweet. Everything that I had saved for my son's college fund, everything I'd saved for any kind of retirement. <laughs> But it's not enough in a pandemic that's rattled restaurants everywhere. If you could compare this pandemic to a hurricane and it came in and it leveled our industry. She had hope earlier this year through promised federal restaurant revitalization funds. Feeling like everything's going to be all right. While more than $600 million came to North Carolina restaurants, the money never arrived at Bittersweet after out of state lawsuits redirected the money. It feels as if we're back at year one struggling. The bar is one of 4,000 businesses in the state that didn't receive a dime. Now, she and other owners are teaming up with organizations to push lawmakers to restart this program. We've got to demand policy uh, makers find a way to replenish this fund, and we've got to get those grant dollars in the hands of business owners. Hammer says if not, she worries small, locally owned favorites could soon become places of the past. They are community centers, and without them, there's just a loss of the character of the city. Well, both the Independent Restaurant Coalition and the North Carolina Restaurant and Lodging Association are both calling on lawmakers in Congress to pass something that would extend these funds, replenish it. Now, there is a bill right now in the U.S. Senate that would do just that, but it really hasn't moved forward since being introduced this summer. Reporting live in Raleigh, Lillian Donahue, CBS 17 News. All right.